takes a, a strong-willed person just to walk up those steps and enter this place. You have to have courage. You have to have guts. Are you going into a, a hard knocks gym? Okay, this is a fight gym. I'm Bruce Silverglade. I've owned a gym for the past 31 years. Gleason's gym is the oldest active boxing gym in the United States. I worked for Sears Roebuck and Company for 16 years, and I really hated what I was doing. My hobby was boxing. The boxing business brought me into Gleason's, and that's all it took. Uh, the next day I went back to uh, Sears. I resigned, I took my profit sharing, I bought uh, the gym. Uh, we've had 132 professional world champions. But my favorite fighter uh, was Roberto Duran uh, that, that trained out of Gleason's gym. Uh, Ali was one of our fighters, who actually trained with us when he was still known as Cassius Clay. Came in to, fight, uh, to train at Gleason's before his fight in, uh, in Florida with, with Sonny Liston. Boxing is, uh, in, in my estimation, uh, the toughest of, of any sport out there. You're actually entering combat. But you have to overcome fear. You have to overcome adrenaline. You have to come over all these things that sap your energy. Because you have somebody in front of you that's trying to hit you, trying to hurt you. If he isn't in superb physical condition, number one, for sure, he's going to lose the fight. And number two, there's a good possibility that he's going to get hurt. Now, the people that go into the sport of boxing usually come from your lower socioeconomic areas. It's different than the way you were brought up. It's different than the way that I was brought up. It's a different psych. But they come into a gym and they're very naive. Uh, they don't know what to expect. They come into a gym and they meet a bunch of uh, guys that have money. Uh, they take advantage of the kids. And when it's over, there's nobody there to take care of them. If you're not producing in this game, nobody wants to know you. When the fight game is over, you're totally alone and they're not prepared for it. We try to help the athletes quite often. We have uh, job counselors, etc and um, it's very difficult. We, uh, we train a lot of kids that are referred to us through uh, the penal system and police officers and churches. Uh, they can't afford the gym, so we, we train them at no charge. And boxing and police isn't the mecca that it was at one day. I, I still have a monopoly on, on fighters that are in New York. However, today we have more female world champions than male world champions, and that's the first time in our history. Most of my membership are not fighters. You know, the vast majority of my uh, membership are uh, businessmen, women, children, anybody I can get to come through the door and pay me a fee. There's very few fight gyms in, in the city, all five boroughs. I'm not out there for everybody. I'm out there for a certain niche of people. Hello there, hello there. We still have a good reputation, and people uh, will, will find out that if you want to go into boxing, you go to Gleason's gym.